This is what my shopping list version 2 program looks like when it runs. So I'll start by printing the list. Now notice I actually have two lists. The first list is called my list and it's initialized to milk bananas bread. And the second uh, array here is called amount. And each item in amount corresponds to an item in my list. So for example, milk, yeah, one milk, bananas. I guess I've ordered one banana and bread. I've ordered one yeah, loaf of bread so far. Now, if I add an item that's not already on the list, I'll add apples. See, it adds it, begins it at one, and it prints out the list again. Now, if I keep adding apples, you can see what happens. Instead of adding more apples, I'm just incrementing the amount of apples. Mm. And if I delete one, yeah, it goes down by one. Now, let me delete, uh, actually, let me delete something. Let me delete bread. So if I delete bread, it goes down to zero and completely gets deleted. Now, if I, let me delete, oh, let me delete apples. Now I can delete just one item from apples, see, one at a time, or I can delete the entire thing, delete all apples, so that'll make this go down to zero and it'll get removed from the list completely. Yeah, there it goes, all right, so let me add apples again. And I don't know, I'll add something else. I'm getting one pizza. All right, actually, let me go back to apples. And uh, let's see, let me do search for an item. So you can see I've ordered yeah, six apples. Yeah, great. Uh, let me print the list again. So I think you get how this works. You really just need two lists. Again, when you add an item, if it's on the list already, you just end up incrementing. Now, if it's not on the list, noodles, I don't know who's gonna order like one new, well, I didn't even spell it right for, for one thing. All right, so <laughs> it's supposed to be noodles, but anyway, you can add them, you can delete one at a time, or you can delete completely. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, it's maybe a couple of things that are a little bit tricky, but I think you can figure it out. All right, thanks so much for watching.